Welcome guys to World of Tanks and today I'm going to do a quick review of the M4A3 E8 Sherman or the EC8 and to put these things very short this is a really good tier 6 medium tank it's fast it's maneuverable it got a very good gun at least for this tier and I got one review or replay that I'm gonna show you and just by looking at that I don't think you'll agree but anyway let's go over the statistics it got 750 hit points and well that's average I would guess VK got 840 Cromwell 750, the Jumbo got 730, and we can, yeah, and the Panzer IV Small Tomb has 730. So, yeah, it's in the middle. It doesn't weigh that much 34.5 tons at the max, 520 horsepower, that's quite good. 48 kilometers per hour speed limit really good at this tier 40 degrees traverse speed well once again pretty good armor on the other hand 63 millimeters at the front but remember it's sloped so it can bounce if you're lucky turret same there 76 millimeter at the front plus this tiny 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 gun mantlet and the gun itself 76 millimeter m1a2 18.18 rounds per minute average of 128 millimeters of penetration and at tier 6 still pretty good 115 average damage also quite all right the dispersion or accuracy is Shut up. Accuracy one uh, zero point four at one hundred meters. It could be better, but two point zero aiming time. Nah, you'll fire fast enough anyway. Gun or turret, not much to look at. Engine, twenty percent chance to fire an impact haven't happened that much either it's like one percent for me and what kind of equipment should I fit on this vents gun lane drive and gun rammer and that's about it I'll see you in the replay so here we are in the EC8 and it's Ruinberg and I'm platooned up with the two of my friends and yeah this is a pretty tight game I would say especially at the beginning and as you can see I'm in the very middle at least in tiering which is pretty lucky considering that one of my friends is playing as a uh, Enemy armor is scout And I would like you to keep a close eye on the damage counter. Three shots out and we got already 350. A44, tracked, repairs, I track him again. And we still don't have any kills, but we're almost at 1,000 damage. Uh, 
and this tiger will soon learn that you don't turn your back at an easy 8. I'm doing damage and there finally is my first kill and all of a sudden we're right up there at almost 2,000 damage and as you can see we don't really care about the accuracy, we can just shoot. So, going into the town, helping our guys here, there's being flanked by a Tiger P and a K1S. Now, the Tiger P, as we know, have a ridiculous front armor, but at the rear, it's really crap which means that we can pummel him into death quite fast and take a hit there from a T1 heavy I back up and fire and manage to hit him and as you can see I bounce the shell there and that's the second kill we got a Hellcat visiting us And now, up at 3,300 damage. And it's slowly but steadily increasing. We got a T29 pushing his luck. We got our third kill. T25-2. And this A43 decided that nope, I'm not gonna shoot at him. Fine, I just move a little bit. And once again, someone steals my kill. But I'm not really complaining. So last two on the enemy team, a M44 and a VK 3001H. Gotcha. And kill number four secured. Now the last VK, we know where is or whereabout. And there he is. Enemy is hit. Now, Enemy armor is he can dish out some Penetration. damage real quickly, Enemy but not fast enough. So, to um, summarize this, Beast of a Tank if you know how to play it or if you can get in the right situations. Other than that, it's a decent tier 6 medium tank and quite the opposite of its uh, brother, the Jumbo, which I will be reviewing in a near future. But anyway, I hope you liked this short but effective review and I'll see you next time. Bye!